Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going through my very first client's home and cleaning and organizing their master bathroom, their guest bathroom, their guest bedroom, and their playroom for their grandchildren. I will be taking you guys along into each room and showing you what they looked like before I did anything to them. And then I will show you some of the process through each of the rooms. And then at the end, I will show you the after of every room that I've done. This is gonna be the first part of my video. In next week's video, I'll give you part two where I'll be doing their living room, their laundry room, pantry, and kitchen. So make sure you tune in next week for that. So to get things started, I like to start off with cleaning each of the rooms that I'm going into. Right here, I'm using the Dawn Power Wash. I love this stuff. I like to use this on sinks and in the bathtubs or showers that I'm cleaning. This stuff works really, really well. So if you're in looking for a new product for cleaning your bathroom, I highly suggest grabbing one of these. But usually I like to start cleaning from top to bottom here. I didn't do that because I forgot. But by top to bottom, I mean I usually like to start off with doing the mirrors and then working my way down. That way we're not getting any dust anywhere from the mirrors. But as you can see here, I'm wiping down the countertops with a disinfectant spray. And I went ahead and put that Dawn Power Wash in the sink. I always do this as my first step. I'll put in my power wash in the sinks and on the bathtubs and the showers. And then I'll go ahead and put the toilet bowl cleaner in the toilets. And then I will start from top to bottom where I'll do my mirrors. Then I'll work my way to the countertop and then the sink. And then I'll move on to the bathtub and showers. And the last thing I always do is sweep and then mop. So before I started cleaning off the countertops, I took everything off of the countertop and out of the drawers and from under the sink. And I like to just go ahead and lay everything out from inside of these things and put them on the floor and kind of put them in categories that go together. So I'll put all of the hair things together, all of the makeup together, all of their daily items that they use, all of the toothbrushes all of the medicines, things like that, so that I can kind of get an idea of the categories I want to put them in and how many bins that I will need or storage containers that I will need for them. So you can see all of that here where I just kind of lump them together in the categories that I thought would work best. And after I did this, I just went to the store and I bought all the items that I needed from the dollar store. 
This particular client wanted to do it as cheap as possible and wanted to do dollar store finds, so that's what I did for them. I like to keep things in a variety, so you're not always going to see top of the line, high quality storage containers and bins like glass ones or wicker baskets. Sometimes you'll see little bins like this that you can get from a dollar store and it's, it's a lot you know, fitting for everyone. You can come on here and you can see cheap ways to organize your bathrooms or you can find really pretty gorgeous ways to do your bathrooms. It's gonna cost a little bit more money. So I just really like incorporating a broad spectrum for my viewers to come and see different ways that I like to organize different rooms and for different prices. And here is a quick look of the before once again so that you can get a good idea of what it looked like again before I show you the after. And here is the after. As you can see, everything that I used and like I said previously is from the dollar store. And I went ahead and got them this really cute soap dispenser, this little mason jar candle, and these really awesome containers that I found that are glass for bath bombs for the q-tips and their face wipes i always love going to the dollar store to get my glass containers because they're a dollar and usually they're a lot more expensive at any other store that you can find them at and the shower here all i did was just give this a really good clean and i bought them a shower caddy for all of their shampoos and body washes and scrub. For little showers like this, I really like to use shower caddies. I feel like it helps maximize the space that you have and it makes it look a lot less cluttered. This drawer system right here, they already had. All I did was just organize it a little bit more for them. And yeah, that's about it. I really love how it turned out. I think that it was super simple. It was very, very affordable. But inside here is their toothbrush drawer with their deodorants, kind of like their daily drawer. This is where I put all of their makeup and their makeup removers. Down here in the bottom drawer, it's like a um, miscellaneous drawer. I just kind of have like their lotions, their baby powder, their safety pins. And in this one, I put in their daily hair products. This drawer, I put in their grandchildren's toothbrushes and toothpaste, so it'll be easy accessible for them. Down here, I really love this pink drawer. I put in their Band-Aids and the drawer in the boxes behind them. I have all of their medicines with lids, so that helps with their grandkids. And then I have an overflow basket right here in the back where I have all of their extra items, and then I have their hair care and spa-like items. Now, this is the before for their guest bathroom. Since I didn't show me cleaning the bathtub or the shower in the other bathroom, I thought that I would show you in this bathroom. But you can see here I'm spraying my Dawn Power Wash all over the shower. And after that, I'm just going to take this scrubber that I found that I was seeing circulate on YouTube. And it helped my back so much. So after having four kids with epidurals, all you other moms out there know how I feel. My back is completely wrecked and carrying twins did not help either, but it absolutely kills my back whenever I go to clean the bathtubs or the showers in our house or anyone else's house. So this little tool is absolutely awesome. All you have to do is just hold this handle and it has a scrubber on the end and it gets in those corners that it's hard to get to and you're not having to completely bend over and break your back having to clean these tubs and showers. So I'm gonna link the link for this 
I got it from Target, but I'm gonna put this down in the bottom of the description box so that you can check it out. But it is so worth the money, and it's not expensive at all. We come alive in the night time. You and I, we come alive. Whenever I clean tubs out, I like to take out the stoppers and clean those. And I was a little out of shot for that, um, but I was trying to show you guys that buildup that is in those stoppers in your bathtubs or, and also in your sinks. And I like to take these out and give those a really good scrub and a good wash to help your drains drain a little bit better. Here is the before again. We're doing this in our way. We come alive in the night time. There's something about how it is in the moonlight. That look in your eyes and tells me that you want me and all my loving. We come alive in the night time. You and I, we come alive. Oh, 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 we come alive. Here is the app. This bathroom really wasn't that bad. There wasn't really tons of things that I had to separate into different categories and organize for them. But in the shower, you can see I added another shower caddy and I added another candle. And their bins, I think I only had to buy like three or four bins for down here. And I just put all their cleaning supplies together, all of the um, body powders and lotions, and then all of the body sprays and then their medicines are in the back. Now I'm going to be moving on to the guest bedroom. I didn't show the in details of me cleaning up this bedroom and just sorting things out just because I know it's a little lengthy but here I just took out all of their trash all of the things that they weren't using and I went with the client with them and they told me what they wanted or didn't want and I just gave it a good dusting and wiped things down. And this is their playroom. So they had a lot of toys in here and a lot of things they didn't use. So all I did was get with the owner and we sorted out what they wanted, what they didn't want. And I put this little shelf together for them and put all of their toys and categories for their grandkids. And I really like how it turned out. It's very open and airy and I really think the kids will love it. But that is all for today's video. I thank you guys so much for tuning in and make sure you come back next week for part two. We come alive.